And now Patrick gets to keep the thing he found. That looks important. Because we, we trust Patrick for the important things. I remember the auto that there was no auto aim for this shit either. There kind of was with the air, like there would be a glove that would come down and point at you, but it wasn't to to get it on the next platform or anything. You have to actually aim that manually. Those ice chicken. Why is there ice here? Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. That really Pick sucks. My words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low-quality design and knockoff wallets. So Patrick's a mas masochist. Confirmation. Oh, thank you. I wonder if that had to do with the position he was in that made his next door. Maybe they're just blue crystals and not ice. Because then why would they be so close to these volcanoes and still be ice, like frozen and everything? I don't know, I'm just getting nitpicky at a kid's game for no reason. these here and why no 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 come here you ha fuck you jellyfish why did I need this again was it a take out that thing seems rather redundant Seriously, this doesn't look natural. Who's what's what's in here that someone's defending? Who would go through the trouble to 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 make these? You know, why wouldn't the person that built those things build stairs or something for themselves? That's much you know, you get up those fucking cliff sides there, I mean... And how are these people getting in? Look at look them. I always wonder that too, is the M how do the NPCs get in there? There you are. Here's another space that I would always use to, uh, spam at the robots. I'd literally just, like, change the channel on my TV, because, you know, it's 2003, right? You use the TV and, uh, and, and you know, you have, like, channel 3 or something to, to get the uh, input for fucking... Anyways, yeah, I'd change channel, and I'd watch, like, some TV or something. 
and I would just sit here spamming B watching TV and every now and then I'd fuck up like that but you know if you just continue spamming, spamming B then the uh, the watermelon would blow up like that yeah and then you, you either way you do that for a while and then you come back and you have a whole shit ton of shiny objects Until I say you're done, Patrick. <clears throat> hey, my back feels better. Ouch. Ouch. God damn it. Oh, oh, I actually died. I knew I should have gotten gold underwear from Squidward's. I remember the combos too. I remember they didn't do anything. They just they'd get to a certain point and they'd stop. They didn't like multiply your score or anything or make more shiny objects appear. It's just it's just something you you did. So you got a combo. Fuck! I didn't mean to kill the other robot. There we go. Kill that one. Pick you up. Didn't give me the prompt and I threw it anyways. Fuck. Come on. Kill this one. Knock out that one. Wait for the prompt this time. Throw it. Kill him, robot. Jump across. Kill Duplatron. And then, so I don't get ki hurt by the Duplatron while it blows up, I get the spatula. There. Done with the spooky dark cave. <laughs> 